eventually I'm gonna start posting these videos that I make while I'm driving because I just feel like I talk more in the car like my logic on cars is I don't know I don't like to ride in silence all the time like oh I hate this double chin anyway get off that um Okay, like I was saying, I love car conversations, like the late night car conversations, and if you and your significant other are into it, arguing in the house, they can run away from that conversation. And when I say run away, I mean they can leave the house, they can close the door, they can shut down on you, they can shut down on you in the car too, but you can't run from me in the car. Like, you, you gotta talk to this. Whether you ignore me or not, you're gonna hear bits and pieces. You're gonna hear me. That's why I like car conversations. Anyway, my topic today is not every loss is a loss. And I'm saying that to say you may think you're taking losses or you may think things aren't going your way or you may think you lost something or you just think you dealing with some bad luck right now. It just nothing is going in your favor. Nothing is going the way it needs to go. Sometimes everything goes wrong before it go right. And you just got to trust the process. You got to trust that what you putting out there is what is coming to you. Because what's in you is going to reflect out. And you're going to attract like-minded individuals. So if you feed yourself negativity, you feeding yourself self-doubt, you feeding yourself all this negative stuff, that's what you're going to get, boo. You feed yourself, ain't nobody this, ain't nobody that, everybody broke, that's what you're going to get, boo. You're going you gonna to be around broke people. You hang around five broke people, you're going to be the sixth. That's what you get. You speak things into existence. You imagine things into existence. You think things into existence. And however you look at things and however you view things, that's what's going to come to you in that form or fashion. If every dude you feel like, every dude you talk to feel like, you know, he ain't the S word or he's a liar, he's a cheater, he's this, he's that, that's all you're going to track. That's all you're going to ever get. Because for you to ever have anything in life, you need to know that you got to speak life into things. You have to speak life into every situation that you put yourself in. And even if you doubt in yourself, you still need to speak life into yourself. Because ain't nobody going to make you do something that will benefit you. Ain't nobody going to be on your behind to make you do something that is better for you and a greater, or greater for you and makes you live in your purpose. Yeah, people might say, yeah, girl, you're doing good. You're doing this. You're doing this. But they're not going to push you to be more. People want you to do good. They just don't want you to do better than them. And if they even think for an ounce or a second that they could be doing what you're doing or they could have been in the position that you're in some type of way, they they not they not rocking with you. They don't like it like that. They don't like you like that because they realize that y'all got the same 24 hours. Y'all were given the same opportunities. Y'all came from the same place same background same city that's why it's hard to get support in your own city because people in your city they know you and i did the know you part because no one ever knows anyone you know of them or you know the child that you seen grow up the middle school that you seen grow up or the girl that you know in high school but if she's still the same girl like from high school there's something wrong with her anyway so that's why i said they know you but they know of your face, they know of your character, they know of who you are or who you used to be. So when they speak on you or they see you doing better or they see you doing things, they don't see the individual that you present to a complete stranger. They still see that little girl. They still see the little shy girl or the girl that was out there or the party girl or the girl who didn't take anything serious. They still see that girl. When you meet a complete stranger, they they're meeting who you're presenting at that time. That's why a complete stranger will support you before your family do. Because it takes a minute for your family to realize you didn't grow up. It takes them a little minute to realize you're not a child no more. You're not a little girl no more. 
you've been out there a little bit you've experienced more you've learned more you've matured your family don't see that but when you presenting yourself to someone new you're presenting a blank canvas you're presenting something that they never seen they don't know so they're judging you off what you're showing them in that moment your family know the background they knew the girl who diapers they used to change they knew the girl who was on i'm gonna say me they knew the girl who was the honor grad the girl who had all this potential in the world and never took anything serious so now that i actually am taking something serious it's kind of like you know whatever like i'm, I'm kind of getting the side out to it or i might get slick or shade slick shade slick negativity because it's like yeah, I, I, I guess you're gonna do it. Like, and it's nothing against it because I'm okay with it. I know what I have shown them or given them to make them think like that. But I know what I'm doing for myself. And I know who I am as an individual. And I know how much I've grown. And I'm not doing this for them on that level. I'm doing it for me. The bigger picture is for them because I don't want none of this. If the people around me can't eat too so the bigger picture is for them but i'm not trying to prove nothing to nobody i'm proving it to myself i'm showing myself that no matter how much i doubted myself no matter how much time i've wasted doing other things no matter how many times i just thought i couldn't do it or i down talked or i just procrastinated or i ain't even tried so i'm doing this for me I'm not doing this for nobody else. I'm doing this for Shania Lachey Roberts. This is for Shania. And everybody gonna see it. But it's not for everybody. And I'm fine with them seeing it. I'm fine with being in the light during my process. I'm fine with failing in front of everybody. I'm fine with messing up in front of everybody. Because one thing about it, people gonna always see your downfalls. They are gonna always see that. And they gonna praise that more than your wins. So to me it doesn't matter if i'm in the limelight or not you still gonna see my failures you're gonna see you're gonna see my wins so to me it really don't even matter i'm fine with y'all seeing if me failing or me messing up or me doing something makes you better or helps the next woman i'm fine with failing because every failure is a lesson there's no such things as a failure that's why you got to do better with them words because what you put out there is what you get but there's no such thing as a failure everything has a lesson to it trust the process and just pay attention when things start coming to you and you see signs or you keep seeing something or it keep coming back to you stop and look at it stop and take a chance on it stop and do it because if something keep coming to you it's meant for you gotta be it keep coming to you it's meant for you it's it's a part of you at that point this video is already eight minutes so i'm done 